their sets, and they're off. The Group 3 Bet365 Earl of Sefton Stakes over nine furlongs, and it's Marie's Diamond who's bounced out in front. Shows the way in the light blue jacket by a length and a half to Global Giant, the darker blue to the outside of my Oberon. And the bat marker off the four is San Donato. So it's Maurice Diamond, who made all to win the Paradise Stakes here last summer, that tries to lead it out in the Earl of Sefton here this afternoon. From Global Giant, who's racing in second, impressive in that Magnolia Stakes at Kempton last time out. Then my Oberon, positioned on the inside there under James Doyle, from San Donato under Andrea Atzeni, the yellow with the black spots. It's Marie's Diamond who still has the lead up top. Shows by length over Global Giant under Frankie, having his first ride in the UK in 2021, sitting in second place on Global Giant. It's a further length away to my Oberon, then San Donato, as they race the way now towards the final half a mile of the contest. Marie's Diamond only now by a half a length over Global Giant in second. My Oberon is placed in third. San Donato is just being pushed along as they run to the final three. Marie's Diamond about to be joined by Global Giant toward the outside. Only a length away then to my Oberon. San Donato is being pushed along to keep up with the other three as they head now to tie the final quarter mile. Marie's Diamond sticking on tenaciously. Global Giant is now under pressure. My Oberon joins in with the pair of them. Then San Donato as they run inside the final furlong and a half. Marie's Diamond now to the outside. My Oberon is the big challenger. Global Giant's now back in third. Then San Donato on the climb inside the final half a furlong. It's My Oberon under James Doyle proving the answer to the Earl of Sefton Stakes. My Oberon the winner from Marie's Diamond in second. Tight there for third. San Donato to the outside of Global Giant. My Oberon has just won the Earl of Sefton for William Haggis with James Doyle on board. That's a really good start to his four-year-old year, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. He had a tough year last year. He didn't race at two and he, he, he ran in some, some good races in some good races and uh, that's a good way to start. You make the point, I mean, he's relatively inexperienced for a horse setting out in his fourth year. Yeah, but um, that's the way it's been with him. But this will be his year if he's going to have one. And what is going to be his trip? <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good question because I've always felt that he was a miler. Uh, the dam, uh, Mighty Tiny, was a good yeah. seven furlong mile filly. Um, and there's a bit of speed in the pedigree. Um, and it goes back to Ferry of the Night and Musmir and family we know quite well. But he looks like he, he wants that trip. We've dropped him back to seven in a listed race right at the back end. He ran awful. Uh, but I think he'd gone by then. And uh, so I, I certainly won't be... I, I'm not sure I'll be going back to a mile. I may go up to a mile and a quarter. We'll see. He was strong at the line, but I need to see it again. Interesting. So he's got that lock in Gentry, but you might go somewhere like, I don't know, the Bigger de Gerard or something like that? I don't know. Uh, we have that lock in Gentry, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, I'm very keen to try and make him a stallion if possible. OK, so you want to go big to, to well, some degree. Well, want to go bigger than the Brigadier Jones. Yes, anyway. OK. Yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. So uh, we just have to have to think about it. I like the way uh, his last... I need to see it again, but his last furlong looked quite good to me. Yes. Now, whether the second and the third had had a bit of a duel and were weakening, and he was flattered, but I thought he did well. It's a slow time, just for Is your it? information. There we go. Um, to sort of unpick it afterwards. Just put a little... <laughs> damp squib on it. <laughs> Not necessarily. I still thought it was a very, very well, a promising run, start. In a slow run race, yeah. you, you, you don't want to be at the back of the field, do you? No. So he's done well to come right. through. Yeah. yeah, I think he has. Yeah, we'll see. Is he versatile ground-wise? I think so. I was worried about the ground, quick ground. Uh, he handled a soft at Haydock. He ran a good race at Haydock. Uh, he didn't like it at Red Car, but I put a line through that. So I think he's pretty versatile ground-wise, I think. And obviously Adeyeb apart, is he one of your better older horses in your yard? We've got a few nice ones, but um, Adeyeb is obviously the best one. He runs on Saturday, and as I look at the forecast every five minutes, and yesterday's forecast said it was, they were going to get 20 mils on Saturday, and it came down to four mils by today, <laughs> so it'll be naught mils by tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a nice horse. We've got a few nice horses um, that need to step up. There's a nice horse running at um, Newbury on Sunday, Alasi. Uh, he's one that we've always liked. He works very well. 
And, uh, you know, there are a few solid Al Zarakan who won the Rosebery comfortably. He might step up and be a decent horse he's bred to be. So we got one or two nice horses this year, which is great. I'm not sure about the three-year-olds, but the, the four-year-olds are quite strong, I think. You've anticipated where I was going to go next. I knew you would. Yeah. <laughs> Can we start with Sacred, though? Because obviously she's running in, in the next. It, does she, what, she, what, what is she? Is she going to be a sprinter or can she stay a bit well, further? that's what I want to know. That's why she's here. Um, the only thing I will say is that her work suggests that she'll get the trip no problem. Her demeanour suggests that, too. And her last three races last year were all on soft ground, which I'm pretty certain she wants fast ground. So hopefully this won't be too watered and this will be what she wants. But obviously we're not going to hold her up because, you know, you can't come off from, from off the pace at Newmarket usually. So uh, Ryan's going to have to ride a fairly, just a normal race and we'll see what happens. And she's got to turn her speed. Her work's been very satisfactory this year. She may come on for the run. But if she settles and does it the right way round, she'll run well. What's the thinking with the tongue tie? Uh, it was a suggestion we had from Ted Durkin, who rode her work and said she just swallowed at the end and at the beginning of the gallop. So we tried her in a tongue tie and haven't taken it off. <laughs> and the cheek pieces at the end of last season, was that not working? And That was... She'd gone by then, the ground was soft. That was a bit of a... Stab. Okay, and the rest of your three-year-olds then, so where are you with, with those? Um, we've got a few nice colts, I'm going to run one in the classic trial I like um, at Sandown. We've got a few nice colts, they've been a bit slow to come to hand our horses, they're not. We've been sitting watching John win all these races and I'm thinking, well, come on, we've got to get our act together. But we've got, I think our fillies are better than our, our colts and there's a full sister to Alas, he runs on Friday, who we've always liked. And, you know, we've got, we've got one or two, and hopefully one or two will emerge. And did Favourite Moon come back after winning the Great No, three? no, he's, he's now second favourite, or nearly favourite, for the Sydney Cup on Saturday. Is he? Two million dollars, and he's got a nice draw in three, 16 runners. So uh, it's fortunately civilised times, five past six and ten to seven, so I won't have to get up in the middle of the night. But he, he, he'll run a good race, they're very happy with him. Good. It's all rather fun, isn't it? Good, it was a good final sortie for you, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. great. Good. Well, many congratulations for that. Uh, best of luck here, Thanks, and thanks Lisa. for talking to us. Thanks, you? my pleasure. Thank you. Bye bye.